Hey everyone, it's me again, and I have the new Born to Run palette from Urban Decay, and I'm really excited about it. I ordered it a couple weeks ago and finally got it in. I've been out and about, and so I haven't been able to do anything until now. We will be doing a tutorial today, so um, stay tuned for that. I'll put a timestamp down below. I have no idea what I'm doing with this yet. So this is what the palette looks like. It's very vacation-y. We've got Big Ben there. We've got palm trees over here, very California. We've got all sorts of other things that I don't know. This is a really heavy palette. It's heavier than some of my other palettes. It is plastic. Then here's what it looks like inside. It does have a mirror. I'm very pleased because it's got all of the colors, names on the palette as well. So I'm pretty excited about this. This looks like it's got some really great neutrals and um, some really great colors in it, so it might be a good travel palette, although it is a little heavy. Now, since I ordered this directly from UrbanDecay.com, um, they were the earliest ones to actually have it. They sent me this, and I haven't opened it yet. It looks like it's just like some stickers and stuff. Oh, there's a ton of stickers on here. Are they stickers or are they transfers? So we've got a bunch of travel stickers. Love. Oh, and then we have some, I don't know if you could see this. Yeah, you can't see it. Let me see if I can peel one off and you can kind of get an idea. And I believe that they're just stickers, but I, I could be wrong. I don't know. So here's a W for something. Let's go ahead and get started with a look with this palette. Do the scary close up with the scary hair. Still, still don't know what's going on with my hair, but I'm going to pull it back for right now. I've got a little bit of an issue with this eyebrow here. So what I'm going to do is go in with a skinny little brush and some of my concealer here. This is the Tarte Shape Tape. And let's clean up this brow just a little bit. much better okay all right let's go in with breakaway we're gonna start off with this as a base and um, it's very similar to my skin tone so I just like to just kind of start out with a smooth surface to work with and one thing that I like to do with my base tone which I always do is to go in right here really well to kind of brighten up my eyes and a lot of people don't go that far I like to just because it brightens up my eyes quite a bit and um, I even do the corners of my eyes too and I will go over the corners of my eyes with more of a highlight as well but I like doing this just to kind of brighten it up just a little bit Next, I'm going to go in with Weekender, which is this one right here, and um, this is going to go into my crease. I'm going to use a slanted fluffy brush to do that. Tap a little excess off, and just fill in my crease a little bit. And I'm moving up onto my eyelid just a little bit more than I would normally do. I have a feeling I'm going to be using this color Weekender quite a bit. Um, I see it as kind of a really nice neutral tone and I feel like if I go too bright on a color it's going to help me tone that down a bit. I think I'm going to go really warm. I don't normally go very warm on my makeup but this has such beautiful warm tones that I definitely want to try them out. I'm going to go into Punk here which is a very warm tone brown and um, just kind of go into my corners with that. I'm going to get a tighter fluffy brush to do that with. Oh, that's a really pretty tone. That went on a lot darker than I thought it would. I'm gonna blend it out. I feel like it's going on a little patchy though. These uh, shades feel really soft. Like almost like too soft where it's, I'm a little concerned about the blending. Um, I have a couple of little bit of patchy areas right here, but yeah, see there's this one patch right here. I'm going to go in a little bit deeper. I think my eye was just like a little bit damp right there and so the color wasn't sticking. Like if your eyes water, 
and you try to put some makeup on and it just kind of just goes and it just kind of slops off. I feel like that's what was happening there because this side it looks just fine. Um, I want to go in with something a little bit brighter. Um, I Like I said, I don't normally use these cool, these warm tones, but I'm going to go in with this one here and just kind of brighten up my lid a little bit. Okay, so um, that actually, that color still shot, oh, still shot is what it's called. Um, that gave a really, really nice blend, which um, I wasn't really expecting. I, I mean, I, I expected them to blend well, but I didn't expect it to go on as well as it did and just to kind of blend out these transitions nicely and I feel like it trans it bounced them out really nicely um, so I'm really happy about that I'm gonna go into good is gone and just kind of deepen things up just a little bit more I want to use the same brush that I used before this uh, fluffy angle brush and tap into that and just really work on that transition. Just kind of really darken it up more than what it is. Blend it out again. Okay, yeah, that's much better. I really love this color Hellride, this one right here. Put a little bit over here and I think I might use it underneath my lash line too, but we're gonna kind of decide on that. I'm really excited to use Double Life, this one here. This one here looks like a penny to me and I'm really, really excited to use it. So I'm gonna use it right now. Um, I'm not sure whether I should use it just as is, use it with a wet brush. So let's try it just as is, um, tapping into it. It feels really soft, which I like. I know with a lot of these glittery shades, you do need to use a wet brush or at least they go on better with a wet brush but I always like to try it with a dry brush first and really for me the wet brush thing although I do it a lot I find that I prefer to use my finger over the wet brush I am gonna go in with my finger just a little bit and kind of brighten it up just a little I think for the other half of my eyelid I'm going to use stranded which is this one right here and go in again with a dry brush. Wow, it really picked up a lot. You see that? It's kind of a lot, which is not a bad thing. Mm, I'm gonna, well, no, I think I'm gonna use my finger on this one again. That just seems to be what I end up doing a lot with these colors, with these, uh, glittery shimmery shades. I end up using my finger quite a bit. There's this one other coppery shade, Ignite, here that I'm going to put right between the two that I just laid down. Oh yeah. I'd like to try going into Jet, which is this black, and it looks like a really soft black. Use a clean brush for that. Yeah, it's definitely a, a soft a soft tone black. It's not one of their deeply pigmented blacks that um, they usually have, but this is actually pretty good for summertime looks and building it up and all of that. So actually that's, that's dark enough for me. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that. Now let's do under the lash line. Just a little bit of double life down here little bit of punk over here and we're going to buff it out I think I'm gonna add a little bit of weekender on the brush actually just to kind of help buff it a little bit I just don't want to lose it all is the problem and I did say I wanted to go into hell ride one more time so I'm gonna do that And I feel like I used a lot of colors on my eye look today, but I tend to do that, so I don't know. I mean, I could have just gotten away with um, Weekender and Breakaway and maybe a little bit of Good Is Gone if I wanted to do something really 
subtle and natural, but subtle and natural are not in my vocabulary. If you know me personally, you would know that. I mean, I have blue hair. I'm not into subtle. I'm, I'm not a subtle person. I'm going under with Hell Right again. But I really want to smoke out that bottom lash. Feel like I've done all I can with these shadows, and so I'm going to do some liner and some mascara. I'm not going to do lashes today just because I just, I don't feel like doing lashes today and so I'm not going to do it. Um, but I could definitely put lashes with this look. Let me do the liner. I'll be right back. Okay, before I put mascara on, I wanted to show you quickly something that I like to do um, with my liner and that is to smoke it out quite a bit. So I'm going to take a little skinny brush and I'm gonna go ahead and dip into Jet and see how this performs for me. It might just be a little too, too soft for me for this um, look, so I may have to dig into a different black, but I am going to try it and we're gonna see. I used a gel liner on the top and bottom of my lid, and now what I'm doing is I am going over that liner with Jet, just to smoke it out and to soften it up a bit. I feel like it did somewhat of what I wanted to do. I just feel like it just needs to be more intense. But I am gonna go in with the same color jet with the same brush on my bottom lashes um, just to kind of get a little bit smokier down here. FYI, I do not see any fallout on my cheeks at all. That is awesome. I wanna go back in on the bottom with this a little bit more. This is hell right again. I feel like with the top lashes, with what I wanna do, I need to go in with a little bit darker shadow. I am gonna stick with Urban Decay. It's upside down. I'm gonna stick with Urban Decay and go in with one of my favorite palettes, the Kristen Leanne palette, um, because she's got this gorgeous black here, which is called 13th Floor. And it's very, 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 very pigmented. So I love going in and doing this kind of technique with this color. I mean, really, you can do it with any shade, um, any of the darker shades. So, I mean, if I wanted to do a blue smoky eye, I can go in there with like a really dark blue, or I can go in with a really dark green or a dark brown or, you know, really whatever, whatever the look is calling for. This particular look is screaming for a black smoky eye. So that is what I am doing. And so with the corners, I um, kind of blend it out just a little bit, just to kind of blur that liner line a little. I don't want to have a really sharp line at the top there. With another clean brush, I'm gonna go in and just kind of soften it up where my brush lines are. So that made a total difference as far as the smokiness goes and um, I'm really digging it. All right, so there's the look. I am loving it. I love how smoky and smoldering it is. Um, I put on two coats of the Urban Decay Perversion uh, mascara, and um, I feel like this look could use some lashes, but I'm not gonna do lashes today just because I'm not, I'm not going anywhere. I don't wanna mess with them, and um, so I'm just gonna leave them. Final impressions of the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. I do like a lot of the colors in here. I especially love Hell Ride, this pink one here. Um, still shot surprised the heck out of me with, the, with how much I really liked it. I didn't think I would like that color. And um, Jet, it's a little too soft for me, but I feel like if this was the only palette that I had to work with, I could use it. I was just being a little bit of a princess and wanted a darker color for that smoke out. So, um, so overall, I really, really enjoyed this palette and I might be taking it with me on my next vacation. So thanks so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and my impressions on the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. And um, I think it's around $49 and it's available everywhere now. Um, I ordered this, I paid for it myself with my own money. This is not sponsored. So um, I hope you really enjoyed my unbiased tutorial and review on this palette. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you next time. Bye.